In this how-to lesson, I'm going to show you around Vinyl Master Cut and how the main tools and features in this program work. So along the top here we have our main menus. Now when you want to select a menu you can simply come along and click on the menu you're interested in and then you'll see these flyouts and then just click on the item that you wish to bring up. In the first row of tools here we've got the static tools. Now these are just your standard type open, save, close type tools and you'll notice these blue little arrows here. These are the hide and reveal tools and when we click on one of these it expands out and it shows us more tools and features as you can see here and then you get these sort of flyouts where you can uh, fly these out and select more options and uh, over here we have things like the setup wizard and the vinyl spooler etc and you can put those away when you're not, not using them. In the second row of tools, these change depending on what you're doing. As you can see, it's in text, and then if I've got a um, circle selected, you'll see that I've got this hide reveal tool, and I get all these circle tools and features that I can now edit and adjust as I need to. So that's where we find those tools. They'll change depending on what you've got selected. Here we have document tabs. Now these document tabs, uh, well, they'll just keep bringing up coming up as you create more documents as you can see here there's another one there and you can just flick between documents by clicking on that tab. Here we've got our recent jobs and you can see a thumbnail preview and when you click on one of these it's an example of some work you can do and then you can scroll through your documents like so. These are our main creation tools over here on the left hand edge and this is where we create things like text and shapes etc. I'll come back to those in a moment. No, actually I'll just fly some of these out just to show you. And as you can see there's quite a few of those tools there. Over here on the right hand side are our colour tools. There's quite a few tools here. I'll, I'll go over some of these in a moment. And you can just simply just click on the colour you're interested in and that'll apply to the object you've got selected. Down here are our main zoom tools so we can zoom in and zoom out and zoom to all etc. Like so. There's our wireframe button, so we can see everything in wireframe or solid view. This button down here is good. If you click on this button, you'll see that uh, it actually gives you a lot more designing room. So it basically just hides away some major tools. Just click that back on and they'll come back as like so. Over here our heads up display. So if I click on say lock there, it locks that object there. I can unlock it. If I wanted to cut it, I could click cut selected. Over here is our page navigation, and as you can see when that comes up we can navigate between pages. You can have multiple pages in Vinyl Master. You can also click through pages there as well. Your rulers slide to the left or up and down, to the right or to the left I should say, and you can turn them on or off as you need to by clicking that button there. If you see this little red button down the corner here, that actually lets us adjust the page size dynamically. See, And then if you want to you can actually set uh, any of your standard size pages up here and with all the standard set are there, all the ISOs and American sizes etc. I mean you can also change it numerically if you want to just type in a value press enter and you can set the width and the height of your page like so. If you click this button here that'll bring up the page setup window and again you've got some more advanced uh, tools and features there for setting up your page. So that's how we set our page size in the program. If we click on this button here we can click artistic text simply position your mouse where you need to go and you just type the text that you want to type in and then you can uh, resize it and change fonts and all these sorts of things so you can make it bold and italic etc you can change its um, position and its size through these tools here and you can see how these tools are changing the second row if I click on these buttons I can increase or decrease the size the typographic size is the size set by the uh, designer of the font, so that's what they think the size is, or what they've set the size to be. The actual pure or physical size is this button here, or this, this measurement here, and here we can set it based on the capital T or the capital H of the font. Here's a font selector here, and you can just scroll through your fonts and uh, select the font you're interested in, like so. Those are the fonts that are in control panel, and uh, you can add and remove fonts from control panel, which will affect what's in this drop down list. As I said, you can resize the text by using your mouse, like so. And if I change to Nate Edit Mode, I can actually adjust the kerning of the uh, of the characters and move those around as I need to. It's also vertical text in the program, so or hotel text as some people call it. 
that's basically just uh, perfectly center aligned text which will just flow like so and you can uh, use that for different types of uh, signage here we've got our um, shapes tools these are power shapes now power shapes interesting they've got these special nodes here like onboard controllers so you can adjust things like corner radius and the border width etc like I'm showing you here and of course you can resize and you can fly out the hide reveal tool like so and you see all the extra tools and you can adjust these things numerically you can also make it mitered and you can make it negative and back to round again so you've got quite a few controls you can make some interesting shapes and squares and rectangles and things here move them around as you need to resize and create a circle with a circle you can make uh, a border and you can make um, pac-man shapes and all sorts of things and adjust the settings up here again as usual and an arrow you've got control over the tip length and its uh, sharpness and the stem width and height and length you can adjust all of these on the screen or you can adjust them in the second row of tools as I was showing you before the program also comes with some stock clip art and you simply just uh, go to the clip art you're interested in and you'll see a preview on the right hand side and you can just scroll through these and click on them like so and just click on the one that uh, you want to bring in and just comes in as curves which are all cuttable of course and like any curves or shape you can resize, position, recolor uh, etc. There's some basic shapes as well and these are just um, standard arrows and uh, different shapes like this love heart here for example you'll notice it comes in like in wireframe now you see this button up here this button here actually sets the selected object to wireframe on or off and as you can see if I click the wireframe button down here everything's in wireframe as well as the love heart but when I go back to solid view you can see the love heart remains as wireframe because I've got that button turned on here so you can actually set your curve objects to be in wireframe independently of each other and this also relates to curves so you can simply create freehand curves if you've got a tablet you can create some really uh, fancy shapes now the curves have got uh, these no uh, controls on them they're quite powerful you can do a lot with them if you close the curve you'll see it's still in the wireframe view I can turn that off like so and go back to solid view so just, just bear that in mind that if you're working on a curve and you can't work out why it looks like it's always closed just make sure that wireframe is turned on and uh, then you'll see the uh, where it's broken like so so that's how those, those work oh, of course you can create curves and polylines using those tools you can also import images into the program so you can just click on import here brings up a standard window select on the image you're interested in simply click open and then you can just paste it or drag it out to the size you want to set it at like so down here are some distortions and you can distort bitmaps or objects or text or anything you want really so distortions apply to practically everything so I can say distort um, this arrow here I can put that in a 2D perspective for example like so and you can do that as I said to any sort of shapes or objects so that's where the distortions are now I'll show you uh, welding, so that's when we combine uh, shapes together. So just get this set the way I want to show you. I have to put it in wireframe mode so you can see how these curves overlap each other. If I click this button weld, like so, you can see it welds out all the overlapping shapes. So that's cuttable and uh, it means you don't cut inside shapes. So that's where the weld tools are. I'll show you some um, the object manager here. So as you can see as you scroll down through this you can select objects and see what's actually in the designing area if I select over all of these I can use the align tools and you can see that I get an on-screen preview before I actually have to commit to it so if I want to actually use any of these alignments I simply just click the button and that will align the objects as I've set there's also spacing there there's also guides so if I select this football here I can apply a guide like so and if I have my snap to guides turned on you'll find that using these slider tools which are those special buttons uh, up or down or left or right like so I can actually slide my objects along my guides it's very easy to lay out using these tools now 
this is uh, as I was showing you before the object manager how you can uh, click on um, on objects and this is the page selector so you can select your pages you can delete pages move them around do all sorts of things here you've got your object selector like so so that's a visual object selector you can actually select your objects visually rather than just selecting them in a list like on the right hand side there so it's a really great way of being able to select all your objects as you can see now I'll quickly show you this this is um, our reverse fill. So let's say we have this now open uh, sign that we want to have over the, our arrow here. It's black and the arrow is black so you can't actually see the um, the now open. If we go into wireframe you can see it. But that can be very confusing so we've got a special feature called reverse fill. So when you see this button up here when you click on this it actually even though it's black it, it draws it as white on top of the object so that when you come up to cut it like so you can see that now open is uh, is a part of the black arrow. So that's a very handy thing to know about. You've got these easy lift marks, they're great. Um, they actually assist in weeding along with uh, speed weed and weed boxes. So you can use those tools and when you click cut now that loads it in the spooler. It's got its own lesson so you can watch that. Um, I'll show you some colour artwork. Let's come here to this job here. So if we wanted to cut that out, if you click on the cut button you can see how it colour separates it. Um, you've got to check separate by colour there. So make sure that's checked on and it will separate all the colors out for you and you can click on them independently up there and when you click cut now it loads it in the spooler. Again there's a lesson on that. Uh, and if you want to do contour cutting just come here and click on this button and brings up the contour cutting wizard but it's got its own video so I won't go into that here but you just watch that video there that'll explain how that works. So that's generally how we use the uh, Vinyl Master Cut program and where the main tools and features are. And that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.